Yes. Ready? Have a banana, Hannah. Oh, try the salami, Tommy. You put, you put, put the, the gravy, gravy baby. baby. Ooh, everybody eats out of my pocketbook. Try a tomato, Plato. <laughs> Here's Cacciatore, Dory. Taste the baloney, Tony. Hey, everybody eats out of my pocketbook. I fix your favorite dishes. Hoping this good food fills you. Work my hands to the bone in the kitchen alone. Hey, you better eat if it kills you. Yeah. Pass me a pancake, man. Here's the story. My mom won't leave the house without a frittata. Wherever she goes, she carries a frittata. Wherever she goes? Wherever she goes. It's a condition called frittata gorophobia. Frittata gorophobia. It's when Italian American women are afraid to leave the house without a frittata. That makes sense, doesn't it? Frittata gorophobia. Because if you don't eat with the fr if you don't leave with the frittata, you never know where you're gonna eat what you're going to eat, how much you're going to pay for it. There it goes. So this condition started 13 years ago. I took my mother to the Met. You ever been to the Met with your mother? I would never go to the Met with my mother. Well, that's another story we'll get into. But in this kitchen jazz lotsy, we're going to talk about my mother. Va bene? Va bene. So we leave the Met. We're exhausted, famished. Famished? And I was on a quest. I wanted a lunch I could admit to my ancestors. Careful, careful. Good garlic, steaming bitter greens. Aspetta. Steaming bitter greens and good oleo. Was that too much to ask of New York City? I ask you. Is that too much to ask of New York City? I mean, where or where can an Italian girl go in the city and eat a lunch here? Make you comfortable? With men, you gotta give them the knives, otherwise they get very panicked. Where can an Italian girl go in the city and eat a lunch she can admit to her ancestors? So we went out on Madison Avenue on this quest. We went down Madison and up Madison. All the awnings were in French. That looked a little pricey. Lutes, la douche. Finally, I saw it. E a T. Manja. Va bene. E A T. So we went in. Yeah. And we sat down. There were four of us. We drank water. We relaxed. We took off our shoes. And then we looked at the menu. Guess how much one sandwich was? One sandwich, 13 years ago, Madison Avenue. Quanto? Guess out there. I want someone to shout it out. Eighteen dollars and ninety-five cents. Madonna Santissima. Eighteen ninety-five. And guess how much one cup of coffee was, people? Quanto? This is in the days before cafe latte, before mocha latte. Thirteen years ago. How much? We're talking Madison Avenue. Uh, two dollars. Five dollars. Six ninety-five for one cup of coffee. Forget about it. So what it. does an Italian family of four do in such a situation? Here, yeah, start the guess. You know what we did? We got one sandwich and one cup of coffee, split the sandwich four ways, and passed the coffee cup around. And from then on, my mother vowed never to leave the kitchen senza la frittata nella borsetta, without a frittata in the pocketbook, and never eat out what you could cook at home, especially la pasta. Provo a convincere mamma mia di uscire in questa casa e la cucina e scendere giù in città. I tried to get my mother out of the kitchen and into the city. In città. La cucina dove si convochiamo la vita e si prendono le spade con la morte. Where we summon life and take up swords with death. La cucina dove si postava la culla. The kitchen where my crib was kept. Si, 
la cucina dove mamma mia si impostava sopra il forno caldissimo. Where my mother was posted over the hot fire. È vero, la cucina dove i nostri antenati vengono sulla finestra durante le ore scure. Where our ancestors enter in the dark hours. La cucina dove il rubinetto mi conduce alla fontana della acqua viva della fonte. Where the faucet calls me to our acqua viva della fonte fountain. Ah, io. La cucina dove l'acqua scorrente calma l'anima mia. Yes, where the running water <laughs> makes me feel at home and calms my soul. La cucina dove di solito cerco di farla fuori così. The kitchen I try to get my mother out of as often as possible. Uscirà, 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 uscirà. Uscirà, uscirà, ma non senza la frittata. But not without the frittata. La frittata nella borsetta. The frittata in the handbag. Ah, forza frittata, forza frittata. Frittata power. Forza frittata. Frittata power. Forza frittata. Frittata power. Forza frittata. Forza frittata. This is how it goes. I call my mom on the telephone. I say, ciao, ma, cosa mangi oggi? Io sto bene, bene, non mangiato adesso. Ma, how about meeting us downtown? Come on, it'll do you good. It'll lift your spirits. You know, downtown, things will be great when you're downtown. Everyone's waiting for downtown, you. Downtown. Come on, Ma, what do you downtown, say? Get on the bus. Downtown. All right, I'll meet you at 23rd Street. Okay, love you, bye. Mwah. But you know what she does? You think my mother just opens up the bus schedule? No. Before she opens up the bus schedule, she opens up the refrigerator. She sees asparagus, onions, pecorino. How many eggs? She beats up as many eggs as she can. If mushrooms, throw them in. Start the onion. Because she knows that a frittata is whatever ingredients are in the bottom of the fridge, thrown in with eggs, and if possible, laid crossways with asparagus to hold it all together the way men use steel rods in concrete to hold up our skyscrapers. Now, while the eggs are simmering, she gets ready for downtown. She puts on a little lipstick. She'll tweeze a couple of eyebrows. She'll get her pocketbook ready because it's very necessary to have the right pocketbook for a frittata. And we have one here. Now, she flips it in a very special way. You take a plate, voila, a little bit bigger than the frying pan. You ready? I'm ready. Just about when the frittata is half done, so it's still wet. Now, this is very avant-garde. You ready? Very avant-garde. Cover the thing with the thing, flip it, and then slide it back in. Voila! I just put it under the broiler. Yeah, this is avant-garde. She's been doing this forever. As it finishes and cools, she gets ready for the bus. Now, here we have a frittata ready. I'm gonna wrap it in la mappina. Bravo, keep it warm. I'm coming to table number one out there. I'm gonna take my frittata, put it in, because I know someone out there is ready to eat la frittata. Let's do it. Having a derby, derby, looking the fender, fender. Everybody eats when they come to my house. Forza frittata! Forza frittata! Forza frittata!
Mulțumesc frumos! 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 Mulțumesc frumos!